What's happening, folks? Back with the third uh, in our series of videos for the Star Control 2 playthrough. Just get this to full screen real quick. Yeah, as I mentioned last time, uh, we're going to go to the Alpha Centauri system where there's a whole lot of minerals. Okay, so yeah, let me just make sure we have enough storage. We need storage. I don't have very much money, do I? Oh, I did get an extra one. Okay. That helps. It's still not enough. I might have to sell some people. No, it's not going to be enough, is it? Not enough to buy a new storage bin. Guess that's it for now. But, yeah, we really should be going to Alpha Centauri with more storage capacity. But there's enough minerals there to justify a couple trips. Oh, what am I doing? Before going into hyperspace, tagged it and then it autopilots it. Yeah. Now, what we don't want to have happen is to get caught by people in hyperspace because you get dragged into a combat screen. And as I say that, I'm now remembering there's a these probes that get sent out through the galaxy, but they malfunction and they start attacking everybody. And the longer the game goes on, the more ubiquitous. Oh, it's the Mel Norme. Get over here, my guy. I want to make contact. I am Tree Master Greenish, in command of the Melnome Starship, inevitably successful in all circumstances. I bid you a formal That's welcome, a very optimistic Captain. name for a starship. Though we Melnome have just recently arrived in this region of space we have long desired to make contact with your species and look forward to give you our mixtape profitable relationship that's a killer tune you got going bro even before our first meeting we knew of you captain though your struggle to free earth shall be a long and difficult challenge fraught with great danger and mystery we have great confidence mm -hmm. in you and your abilities. You know something I don't? Our origins and purposes are frankly mysterious, and due to several unavoidable factors, we are unable to discuss ourselves in any great detail. Alright, just one question then. Are you a sentient muffin or a lazy boy chair? I feel like those are the only two options. Absolutely. Our primary trade good is information. Why, right here on my display screen, I have something which, I am certain, would be of incalculable value to you. We can discuss the details of this very significant information later, when we have established normal trading procedures, at which time we shall also discuss the nature of our fees. Yes, let us get down to business. Since this is your first time trading with us, let me explain how our system works. We are interested in purchasing certain items, specifically biological data on alien life forms, and the coordinates of certain strange worlds whose radiant energies defy all scanners producing a rainbow-like image. In exchange, we have many interesting and valuable commodities, such as 
fuel, compatible with your Starship's hyperdrive thrusters, technological specifications, allowing you to build new devices for your ship, and that's what I'm interested in, man. Important secrets which may help you in your travels. To facilitate trade, oh, you have the internet? Never mind. I guess that last one doesn't appeal to you. Into interstar credits, with which you may make purchases. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Now, what can we do for you today? That's a good question, with a very interesting answer. The fee for this information is 12 million credits. It has been a pleasure dealing with you, Captain. I'll be back when I've captured some species from their native homeworlds and dragged them across the galaxy for you. Okay, so I mentioned before I have the manual from the Star Control 2 3DO game still, and there's like a hint book in the back, and it's telling me that the most mineral rich worlds at Alpha Centauri are 1, 3, and 8, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to 1, 3, and 8. Let's get a quick save in case I end up losing my lander, which can happen. Whoa, the gravity. Okay. Are radioactive, or at least uh, the purple ones are more valuable. I know that. What are we looking at? Temperature is really hot, so no. Oh, class six tectonics. I'm definitely gonna lose the, the lander. <laughs> this is not good. I'm gonna like one try to get this guy right here. Oh, it's gonna be hot with earthquakes, man. Whoop. Not the worst. It uses a lot of fuel, but... Let's see if I can get one of these massive ones here. Massive deposits. Oh, the smoke is big. Oh, no! Uh, see? That's why... See, now I have to load again. Because I don't have any more, do I? I like how the game gives me that sound effect just to tell me what it thinks of my play. Again, in these very early stages, you're like a delicate little fawn just born into the world. You gotta be extra careful. In fact, just in case I lose it again, let's save it here. Thank you. It's a bit random where it puts you, even if you put the thing right on top of it. Man. Woo, not bad. Alright. I'm going to get credit for that. Okay. So now again, let's just try to get one of these, because these are huge. I mean, it's massive. Oh my god, no one died. Yeah, we'll take that. This is the kind of world where, like, you lose it in an instant, so you gotta be extra careful. I apologize for the, uh, neurotic saving. Oh man, it's far away. Sorry that 11 members of the crew who laid down their life for that. But I am gonna take that. Alright, so let's go off to planet number three. Little hot dog on the way out the door. Where are you, Planet 3? This is 2. This is not what I want. I mean, there might be minerals there, but again, this hint book tells you the worlds that you really want to hit to maximize what you're doing. Oh, I love this track. 
it seems to indicate this is the most mineral rich planet in this system, so. But yeah, I love this track. Alright, so again, we got crazy temperature. The not quite as heavy earthquakes, but we also have lightning strikes. Fucking hell. But it's all the purple. <laughs> I mean, you see what I'm saying? You gotta be careful. Eventually, you get enough extra credits that you can, or RU or whatever it is, that you can buy multiple landers. With the greatest of respect to the 12 crew who die, it's not the worst thing in the world. That was excellent. I got 40. I gotta make sure I don't use too much fuel because you get stuck. Now, if you get stuck in hyperspace, the Mel Norme will come help you. But even then, I don't have any like credits to trade with him right now, so I don't know what would happen. Really, the purple is really valuable, so even though it's like a lot of fuel to get one half crate of minerals, it really is worth it in the long run. I'll take it. I'll take it. to planet 8. My flagship is still way too slow. Maybe the orange one? Nope, that's only 6. Show me the wider angle, man. this type of planet, okay. So what are we looking at? Ooh, this one's even better. Lower temperatures. I mean, still, you know, too hot to live on, but the least bad of the three. Actually, travel to the other. Oh, don't speak too soon, Schnoots. The crew's like, bro, so many of us have died for your mining operation. Like, now there's only a half dozen people left on the ship, like, when these guys are down here. Let's 
time to head home. I guess we'll notify the 34 crew members' families who passed away. Where is Soul again? Is this Soul? Yes. And what I should do early on is go to some worlds where I know there's biological life and try to get those. Although that is also a tricky proposition. Sometimes they're docile, sometimes they're really hostile and they kill your lander just as easily as an earthquake or a fire. Welcome back, Captain. Excellent oh, work, it's the Captain. most valuable kind. Yep. Try to avoid getting gruesomely killed, Captain. I always do. And again, excellent acid music you got playing up there 24-7, my guy. Need a little bit more, so we're gonna have to go a little bit farther. I think that's good enough. Let's get another storage bin. Definitely another one of you guys. Alright, now let's speed the hell up. Maximum turning first, actually. Now we're full speed, full turning. We're already looking good. A bolt gun. Yeah, I'm not planning to fight with my black ship just yet. Eventually, you can make it the strongest ship in your whole fleet, but right now, I want to keep getting modules. Let's get one more storage bay. Or do I get a crew pod? Well, let's get crew first, and then we'll see. It's just 50, right? Yeah. Well, here's the thing. If I get the crew pod, then I won't be able to add... How many? How much are crew? Oh, there are three? Alright, so... Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Really squirrely, man. Yeah, not bad. So I'm going to play multiple installments tonight, but I'll try to keep them short because when they're shorter it's easier for me to sound edit and I can like crank them out quicker. So I'll keep doing some longer ones because there's some missions where it's just going to be like a longer video by the very nature of what I have to do. But for these like, you know, mining and like early development uh, videos, I'll try to keep them pretty short. So yeah, let me get one more save on the backup. Go back to here. Uh, yeah, so let me know what you think, and part four, five, six, they're coming right on the heels of this. Alright, peace.